And it leads us to our second point that I want you to remember today. That's this. Don't disqualify yourself from what God has qualified you for. Don't disqualify yourself from what God has qualified you for. Our nature is to question. There's something in each of us that knows what we're capable of and it knows what we're not capable of. And we question ourselves and we disqualify and we question others and we disqualify them. Well, let's read again what God's response was to Jeremiah in verses 7 and 8. He says, Do not say, I am only a youth. For to all whom I send you, you shall go. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. God doesn't chastise Jeremiah. But he doesn't give an inch either. He says, don't disqualify yourself. I built you. I gave you the plan, and ultimately, I will get the glory. Look, the world is going to try and disqualify you. Unfortunately for many, your family and friends may even try and disqualify you. So God says, don't do that to yourself. Remember that God did the sending, He did the commanding, and He did the delivering. So when it's all said and done, He gets the glory. Verses 9 and 10 continue. It says, Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to plant and to build. Again, God is saying, I placed you here to do the work I gave you. So trust me.